What are peptides and do they hold the secrets to longevity? Well, here, here to give us the 411 on everything we need to know is internationally renowned prevention specialist, Dr. Erica Schwartz. Dr. Erica, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Dr. O, and hello, Dr. Sportelli. Nice hello, to meet you. Dr. Erica, great to see you. Well, nice show. to be back. <laughs> well, everyone is talking about peptides. They're the buzz. Mm -hmm. What are they? Well, they're little proteins and they're little molecules that actually influence things on a very global level. Our whole body's systems are influenced by proteins that are these tiny little proteins that are peptides. But if you think about peptides, you think of peptides as enhancing performance and making the clock turn back. All right, Dr. Erica. Sounds good to me. Yeah, <laughs> listen, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I want to get younger. I got to keep up with my three boys, which they're really giving me a run for my money, by the way. <laughs> but so peptides, right? As you said, they're protein or protein fragments, right? So right. Take us through how they actually work and what they can be used for. Sure. So they actually work by attaching themselves to cells. And it doesn't matter if it's a cell in your heart or your brain or your lung or your bones or your skin. What it does is it helps that it sends a message to that cell to behave better, optimizes its function. So nails, hair, brain, heart, libido, everything gets better when there's a peptide guiding it to do the right thing. To clarify, when you're talking about we need peptides, by what route are you recommending that we add more peptides or certain peptides to our diets, to our regimen in general? Right. So it's interesting because you can get peptides orally, like in a supplement kind of thing, or in the protein powder that you're taking, or as in the cream that we said, or you can do it intravascular IV through the IVs or injectable in your skin uh, or a nasal spray. So there are a lot of ways to get it, but at the end of the day, you want it prescribed by a physician or a health practitioner that has experience with it and has been trained in how to use it. I have undergone peptide therapy intravenously while healing, recovering from an orthopedic injury. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a great experience for me. So tell us, Dr. Schwartz, how expensive are these treatments and will insurance cover the, these treatments? So the cost of them, they run around $100 a month, which makes them a little expensive, especially since insurance doesn't really cover them at this point, but it's limited. I mean, you do six weeks, let's say, if you're doing pre or post op optimization, or if you're going to run the marathon or something like this, you prepare yourself for it by doing a short course. So it's not like perpetually $100 a month. Hopefully, as research comes out more and more, and there's research about them for 40 years, literally, it's not something that just came off the block yesterday. Um, as research comes out and as more people are using them and the experiences come back the way they've been coming, insurance will cover them and the cost will come down because as you know, if some, there's a lot of demand, the cost comes down. Sounds good. All right. Is there anything that people can do to mimic the effects of peptides without spending all that money? Of course. And that's called prevention. It's diet, exercise, stress management. It's eating the right food, eliminating tobacco, alcohol, toxins, going to sleep and getting seven, eight hours of sleep. You hear that all the time, but we minimize the importance of prevention when in fact, peptides, hormones, supplements, everything we do are layering pieces towards getting us to prevent disease and turn back the clock and not age very quickly. Well, Turning back the clock and preventing disease, that's what it's all about. Dr. Erica Schwartz, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insight with us. Exciting stuff. Thank you so much, Dr. O, Dr. Sportelli.